Uh, my name is Tatiana Zhiganova. I grew up in Moscow. Um, I'm IRL gymnast. Uh, beautiful IRL gymnast. Well, I'm Denis Remnev. I was born in Moscow yeah, and I come from circus family. I'm fourth generation. Uh, our main act is duo strap, but on the feast uh, we work in the both solo act. The Dennis work kind of comedy on the chain. <laughs> kind of sexy comedy. Kind of sexy comedy. And I'm working the strap performance, the solo, but before the duo act I worked in that act almost 15 years. But for me it's normal. <laughs> it's funny, we're both from Moscow, but we met in England. And the circus that time was called Moscow State Circus. And I was with the big group and I was the catcher in the flying trapeze um, that time. And Tatiana came as the solo act to do her own act. And somehow it, it was start happening. And since that we together. And then we uh, decided to create together the duo act. Because I did the straps before, but then in that moment I was fly, flying trapeze catcher. Um, uh, that's my first time when I be become Shen Master. I mean, I'm not alone with, together with Emmanuel, uh, which is probably easier when you decide something to do wrong. <laughs> you can blame each other. Uh, yes, I, I did before always the props. I did the costume for Coldplay. So I, I always try to do the props and probably that's how we as well, you know, went good good with Tatiana because she's the art to do the costume and I think we, we have lots of interest stuff together, not just like, you know, the, living together and get a suit and that's it. Maybe start five years ago to work like fashion designer and since like I remember myself, I always draw in the costume, even when I was small, like five, six years old. <laughs> just love it. So use the beautiful Giffords costume and try to rebuild them, make a little bit fit for the actors, like a uh, little bit change the style of decoration. All kind of that works. Wow. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. The horse. Yeah? Horse. She loved the horse. Do you like You like the horse? You like hobo? She friends with the pony hobo. I didn't eat the horse. Almost three. Back. In two weeks, three. Well, Giffords is the completely different than I've been working okay. everywhere. And in one way I like it because it's always something created, handmade. And I mean, you feel here, here yourself as the artist. And even the, you know, sometimes it's really hard. You're still trying to create and work 100 from 100 percent of it. And the, the gift is good, they give you that possibility to be... I never would think I'm gonna, like from last year, singing or do the speech because, you know, I always was performing, never acting in the, with the microphone. And the gift give me that possibility. I mean, Carl my crystal put me in this position <laughs> that I don't have a big choice. And day before premiere, he changed all the script. And for me, it was hard because I have to speak like poor language, you know, and it's not my language. It was hard to remember. And too sure I was forget my line. And the good of the Giffords public, they love these bits. They see that we're all natural, we're not just, you know, like a replaying. So, and it's always fun, I think. So that's why I like the Gifford. You always feel something like family at first, and you're very exciting during the show. All the artists, all the um, uh, creative team draw and create something like, you never meet that, because everyone can do everything. It's for me, it's a unique team. I uh, really enjoy that. <laughs> hopefully, nobody sacked us after that contract. <clears throat> after this interview, hopefully, we still get our we contract. We still got our contract. <laughs>